In Kenya, just like in most other African countries, agriculture has been considered the backbone of our economy. All over Kenya, it is not strange to come across a single cow, a sheep, goat or even a herd of cows in every homestead as most families consider livestock as part of their wealth and therefore practice subsistence farming. But this kind of subsistence farming is not beneficial to farmers as most of them do not practice farming commercially nor do they employ modern farming methods. Farming is very important not just in Kenya but worldwide. Um, particularly in Africa I, th I think farming has a huge future but it needs to be done uh, using science, it needs to be done efficiently. It is for this reason that Brookside Dairy Limited, the country's and the region's leading dairy manufacturer, developed a farmer's extension program to assist farmers maximize on the benefits from livestock farming. Dairy farmers are encouraged to upgrade their dairy cows through artificial insemination to improve their genetics, whereas beef farmers and other small stock farmers are encouraged to stock suitable breeds that acclimatize easily and are also able to gain weight quickly. For instance, the Dorpa sheep that is known for its sweet, tender mutton and does very well even in arid and semi-arid areas and can gain weight up to 120 kilograms. You find the adopters doing very well in like Raikipia. Uh, they do very well in, in, in coast province, very dry places in Rift Valley, in uh, central Kenya, uh, those areas which are very dry. Brookside Dairy currently partners with over 145,000 small-scale dairy farmers in Kenya who reap from a host of benefits to enable them improve their productivity. Some of these activities are empowering farmers through education. Brookside organizes an average of three weekly training courses in different parts of the country where farmers are trained on modern farming methods, for example, artificial insemination, best feeding practices, calving, milk handling, among others. These dairy training courses take part, take part in all parts of the country, from Mount Elgon to Mount Kenya, down to the uh, central areas of, of this country, all Brookside visits and visits regularly as part of its extension services which we, which we basically take farmers through better ways of managing their livestock. With the current climate changes, farmers are also trained on pasture management so that during the rainy season they can convert their pasture to hay or silage which they will use to feed their livestock during the dry spell. Through our farmers program, we have been educating farmers on how to practice better animal husbandry, particularly through right animal feeding methods. Besides being taught the importance of uh, various animal feeds, our farmers need to be taught how to prepare to make silage and preserve hay, for example, when the rains are in plenty in anticipation of uh, feed shortages which are becoming more and more frequent today. These trainings are mutually beneficial as the farmers experience growth and improved earnings from their livestock while Brookside receives consistent high quality milk for packaging and by extension the consumer is assured of quality Brookside products. It's the sweetness of our country The produce from our farmers yeah. Let's enjoy the slice of